In this course, we will show you how to insert an N-Lite sensor. We will also show you the steps to start a new sensor on your pump. Do not insert your sensor until you have been instructed to do so by your healthcare provider. When you are ready to insert your sensor, gather the following supplies. An N-Lite glucose sensor, the one press sorter, sensor overtape, a Guardian 2 link transmitter that has been fully charged, an alcohol wipe, a Sharps container. Wash your hands before you begin. Before you insert a new sensor, you will need to remove your old sensor. If you are not currently wearing a sensor, please skip to the next section. First, you will need to remove the overtape that is covering the transmitter. Peel the adhesive tab off the transmitter. Disconnect the transmitter by pinching the flexible arms of the sensor with one hand and pulling the transmitter away with the other. Now, peel off the overtape that is covering the sensor. Loosen the sensor adhesive by lifting up the adhesive tab. Remove the sensor from your body. Discard the sensor in a Sharps container. Be sure to follow the instructions in the Guardian 2 Link User Guide on how to properly clean your transmitter. Then, place the transmitter back on the charger so it can recharge. Next, you'll need to choose a site to insert the sensor. You should choose a place on your body that has adequate fatty tissue and is at least 2 inches from your navel one inch from your insulin pump infusion site and is one inch away from any manual insulin injection site you may have used. For best glucose sensor performance, be sure to avoid sites where your clothing may rub or constrict, for example, your belt line. You should also avoid sites where your body naturally bends or where there's a great deal of motion, and sites that are scarred or have hardened tissue or stretch marks. These sites are recommended for inserting the N-Light sensor. Sensor performance may differ when other insertion sites are used. Be sure to rotate your sensor sites in order to avoid tissue damage that could occur from overuse. Clean the insertion site with alcohol and let the skin dry before inserting the sensor. Do not use any other product or tape on the site before inserting the sensor. Let's take a closer look at the N-Lite sensor. Your N-Lite sensor comes attached to a plastic pedestal. The pedestal keeps the sensor in place while loading the sorter. The sensor lies on top of the pedestal and is attached by an adhesive pad. On the top of the sensor is the needle housing which holds the needle in place. Now let's take a closer look at the sorter. The sorter has a thumbprint marking on one side where you will hold the sorter while loading the sensor. On either side of the sorter are two large green buttons. Each button has a small bump that you will press to insert the sensor into your body. Open the N-Lite glucose sensor package. Remove the sensor from the package 
by holding the plastic pedestal. Do not hold it by the sensor or needle housing as this could damage the sensor. Place the sensor with pedestal on a clean, flat surface such as a table. Hold the sorter so your thumb is on the thumbprint. Be sure your fingers are not touching the green buttons on either side of the sorter. Carefully, push the sorter down onto the sensor and pedestal until the base of the sorter sits flat on the table and you hear a click. Do not push the sorter too hard onto the sensor, as this might cause the sensor to load improperly. To detach the sorter from the pedestal, be sure your thumb is still placed on the thumbprint and you are not touching the buttons. Place two fingers on the pedestal arms, holding it in place, and slowly pull the sorter straight up. Do not detach the pedestal in midair. Doing so might damage the sensor. After the pedestal is detached, the sensor remains inside the sorter. This step also removes the adhesive liner from the sensor. Place the base of the sorter flat against the site that you prepared. To insert the end light sensor, be sure you are holding the sorter securely against your skin without pushing it in too deeply. Press and release the small bump on both green buttons at the same time to automatically insert the sensor. It is important you hold the sorter securely against your body while you do this step as the sorter may spring back after pressing the buttons, resulting in improper insertion of the sensor. Do not pull the sorter away from your skin yet. Continue to hold the sorter against your skin to allow time for the adhesive to stick. Then, slowly pull the sorter away from your skin making sure you do not press the buttons while doing so. With one hand, gently hold the sensor by placing one finger on the front of the sensor and one finger on the sensor connector to ensure your glucose sensor stays in place. Be sure you do not hold or pinch the sides of the sensor. With the other hand, hold the needle housing at the tip and slowly pull straight out away from the sensor. The needle automatically retracts inside the plastic needle housing. Discard the entire piece into a sharps container. Note, if bleeding occurs at your insertion site, apply steady pressure using sterile gauze or a clean cloth for up to three minutes. Carefully, remove the adhesive liner that is located underneath the curved adhesive pad. Press the adhesive against the skin. Now, flip the adhesive tab so that it lies flat against the skin, but do not remove the adhesive liner just yet. Next, you will need to apply the overtape. 
Because the sensor is small, it is important that you apply the overtape that came with the sensor. Hold the overtape by the covered ends and apply one side of the overtape so that it covers both the round part of the sensor and the skin securely. Make sure the tape is covering both the skin and the sensor. Then, stretch the remaining part of the overtape around the sensor connector so that it sticks to the adhesive pad but does not block the sensor connector. Smooth down the tape that was placed on the skin. Then remove the two paper tabs marked with the number 2 from the sides of the overtape. Press the remaining overtape against the skin. To connect the transmitter to your sensor, remove your transmitter from the charger and watch for the green light to flash. With one hand, hold the sensor in place. Hold the transmitter with your other hand and push it into the sensor. It will click when it is connected. The green light on the transmitter will start flashing within 10 seconds. It will flash for a few seconds and then turn off. If necessary, use a mirror to see the green light. If the light on the transmitter does not flash, disconnect the transmitter from the sensor and place it back on the charger until it is fully charged. Then reconnect the transmitter to the sensor. Once the transmitter is connected, remove the adhesive liner from the adhesive tab. Fold the adhesive tab over and stick it on the transmitter. Be careful not to pull the adhesive tab too tightly. Now that the sensor has been inserted and the transmitter has been connected, the pump and transmitter will begin to communicate. When the sensor is ready to be started, your pump will show the sensor connected screen. Typically, this screen will display in less than a minute, but in some cases may take up to 10 minutes. Once the screen appears, select Start New Sensor. The pump will display the sensor warm-up started message. Press the down arrow, then select to clear the screen. Your pump will go back to the home screen and will show warm up until the sensor is ready for the first calibration. If 15 minutes have passed and the warm up bar does not appear or it looks like it is not progressing, look in the quick status screen. If you see the time of next cal listed, the sensor is in warm up. Now you need to apply a second piece of overtape to the sensor and transmitter. There are two options for applying this extra overtape. Option 1 leaves the back of the transmitter open to allow for better ventilation. Option 2 covers the back of the transmitter to help reduce the chances of the transmitter catching on your clothing. To apply the tape as shown in option 1, remove the paper backing marked by the number 1. Do not remove the number 2 paper backings just yet. Hold the overtape by the covered ends and position it so it is oriented the same way as the first piece of tape. Now apply one side of the overtape so that it covers the center of the transmitter and apply the other side of the tape directly on your skin. The hole in the center of the tape should expose the back of the transmitter. Smooth down the tape on your skin and transmitter. Finally, remove the paper backing marked number 2 and press the remaining overtape against your skin. 
To apply the tape as shown in option 2, remove the paper backing marked by the number 1. Do not remove the number 2 paper backings just yet. Hold the overtape by the covered ends and position it so it is oriented the same way as the first piece of tape. Apply one side of the overtape so it covers the connection between the sensor and the transmitter and apply the other side of the tape so it covers both the back of the transmitter and your skin. Smooth down the tape on your skin and transmitter. Now remove the paper backing mark number 2 and press the remaining over tape against your skin. To review, remember when you're inserting the end light sensor, you need to be sure to hold the serter with your thumb on the thumbprint when loading the serter. Hold the serter securely against your skin, then press and release the small bump on both green buttons to insert the sensor. Apply an additional piece of overtape to the transmitter and sensor.